What up guys, at Barbell Brigade, the world famous in Los Angeles, California. And today I'm working on all the push muscles. I hit chest, shoulders, and tries. So my first exercise was bench, and it's competition grip, so it's my competition bench. Um, the bar felt really good, and sometimes, surprisingly, the bar can feel kind of heavy, especially for CNS is fine, but the bar felt good, 135 felt good. Um, I smoked 225, I remember sm uh, hitting it and coming off the bench going, oh, and that felt really good. So I felt like I was gonna have a good bench day, and because of that, I wanted to hit a top set at 315, somewhere like that, but 275 is usually like the marker that'll let me know if I'm gonna have a good bench day or not. And I hit 275, and that felt like too. Like I smoked it, I felt like I could have done it for five right then and there, and I'm like, hell yeah, so I'll take 315. But because I haven't gotten that heavy in a long time, I'm like, I gotta get a spot. So Stan, our trainer here, came and spot me, and I was like, I can hit, I think, zero reps or three reps. And good thing I got two, was really, really happy with that. I probably could have squeezed out one in the tank, but because I'm still in a strength building phase, um, I didn't want to fully fatigue myself. I wanted to save myself from all the back offsets, which I did 275 for three sets of five. They all felt really, really good. And then I hit uh, two sets of eight at 225. So I did a ton of volume, what was that, 315, 275, 275, 275, 275, 276, six sets of bench, felt really, really good, and I think uh, the following weeks what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 275, 275, 275, 275, and eventually I'll build towards 275 for like five sets of five, five sets of six, and really just build up 275, because 315, I think I'll always have it, um, but my goal is to really just build up my work capacity before I taper again. Then I moved on to shoulders and I just did a seated dumbbell press. And I'm really, really happy to start doing these again because I've been doing a standing overhead press for a long, long time because I just noticed my core and my glutes weren't that strong when I have a load above my head. But since I'm more in a power building phase, I really wanted to isolate just those muscles. So I went back down to a seated dumbbell press and I felt good. I didn't have to worry about balance. I didn't really have to focus on that much. I could really just focus on just driving the shoulders. And even with Arnold presses, which you guys see me do a lot, I didn't have to focus on rotating. I could just load the weight up and go heavy. And I went from 50s for 10, 60s for 10, 70s for 10, and then I hit 80s for a set of five. Just pretty good for not having done seated dumbbell press in probably a few years, almost since I started powerlifting. Um, and then I moved on to flies. Working on my chest is something that um, I'm really trying to focus on too because uh, during a photo shoot when I was boxing, I noticed I pulled my chest and I'm like, oh shoot, does that mean I have a weak chest muscle because I'm not working it out? And I've always kind of avoided it because I always felt like my chest outgrew the rest of my body. So I never really wanted to put on too much volume on chest, but I think uh, boxing for the photo shoot and then kind of pulling my chest was kind of a wake up call where I'm like, oh man, I don't know if I'm acting, activating my pecs that much. So I'm starting to do some flies. Just really light, four sets of 10. Uh, with 2025s, and then my final movement is tricep pushdowns. And these guys, I try to go higher reps like 15s, 10s, 20s. And now I have a really good push pump. And tomorrow I'll be uh, hitting a pull day. And I've been liking my transition from more of a powerlifting split into more of a power building type split because I get to kind of go back to one of the reasons why I fell in love with lifting in the first place, which is bodybuilding. Like not just getting strong, but like looking as looking as strong as or looking, looking, Confucius say looking strong as you strong are. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys figure out my sentence, put it in the comments below. I forgot what the hell I was saying, but you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. I think my recent shift from going from a powerlifting split to a power building split has definitely helped in strength. Not in the sense of like, oh, okay, yeah, for sure not to squat or bench way more but because I could focus way more on the lacking accessories and the weaknesses that I've been skipping the last couple of years, like my hamstrings, my pecs, and my core. Being able to hammer those has allowed me to build better form. So now my squat is way more upright. Being able to hit the pecs more, I could uh, bring the weight down a little bit more controlled instead of just like letting it drop. So I think in, in terms of helping me have more confidence and stability, has definitely helped with the strength. And also, now when I do hit a max load, the first muscle to go isn't that weak muscle, you know? So if I am hitting a squat and I need to grind it out, I don't immediately hip shoot up and feel like the bar is gonna dip over. I can actually have enough hamstring to kind of keep it upright and slowly have all my muscles move in unison. So um, that's been a great help. And I think also just that mental break 
really helps out too. You know, like when you're constantly hitting percentages or an RPE or a specific weight that you have to hit all the time and you're like, I got a bench again and a squat again and a squat again and a bench again. There's not that much variation in the training. It can get mundane and you can feel a little bit more burnt out. And now that I am get to incorporate a little bit more bodybuilding exercises without those uh, pressures, it helps alleviate some of that burnout sensation. And then now I approach training with a lot more fun. You know, like, you know, back in the day when you just go with your buddies, like to the gym, you're like, let's fucking smash some arms. You don't even know what you're gonna do. You just know you're gonna smash arms. After my main set, I just know I'm gonna hit shoulders. I know I'm gonna hit tries. I know I'm gonna hit chest. Don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I know I'm gonna smash it. And that's kind of like, um, what's been pretty fun with the whole new power building split. Also, I'm really excited to announce that we just dropped our strength stack. It is our unique custom creatine formula. If you're looking for a supplement to help you get strong, to help you push out those extra reps, make sure you go to barbellbrigade.com. We just dropped them and it's in a tropical raspberry flavor. It's extremely delicious and it's helped me and I think it'll help you too. See you guys next time. Peace.